Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. So in this series of videos, I am going to explain clearly about C programming language. See, everyone thinking that whenever you want to become the programmer, first everyone should initiate programming using C language. C is a programming language. Okay. So why we are learning programming? So that is the main question. Right after completion of learning programming language, so what we can do? See, programming is used to develop applications. Every programming language is used to develop applications. So what is an application? Simply to say is a software. We are using n number of softwares in our daily life. The best example to understand more easily I am taking one example called bank application. Bank application is we are taking. One application we can able to develop once you are good at programming language. So what is the main purpose of banking application? Simply to say every application is responsible for storing the information and processing the information. Suppose what is the main asset of banking? Account holder. Account holder, whenever the customer want to take the account from the bank, simply they will store the information of account holder. Thereafter, whenever the, the account holder want to perform the transactions, they will maintain all the transaction information of account holder. See, simply to say, Banking application, main asset is an account holder. We need to consider account is one program. In programming, we are developing programs. We are writing programs. We are designing programs. Every program is responsible for two things only. First one, storing the information, data simply to say. Suppose if I ask, tell me your account details. What are the details that is account number, account holder name, balance in account, IFSC code. These are all called details. So where we can store this information? Simply to say, we can store the information of a program using the concept called variables. Variables are used to store information. If I take one variable, suppose balance I am taking, balance. Here I am storing that balance value, some information we are storing. I just want to modify. How can you modify this balance? We need to perform operations like a withdraw. I just withdraw 3000 rupees then only the balance will modify. I just want to perform deposit operation. 4000 I just deposit becomes 6000. If you perform any operation, so then only we can modify the data. Here operations we can do. Technically operations are called functions. Operations are called functions. So every program consists two things. First one, variables to store the information. Second one, functions to perform operations on information. See, this is the simple introduction of C programming. See, if anyone asks why you are learning programming, right? After completion of learning programming, we can able to develop applications. Sir, what type of applications are there that I will explain. Here, simply we can develop applications. What is the application responsibility? Why we are developing applications? Two simple reasons. One is for storing the information. Second one is to manipulate the information. The best example is account. That information is account details. 
right operations means what withdraw deposit all these are comes under account operations this is a simple introduction of not only c programming language of any programming language hope you understood please subscribe the channel thank you